Hey everyone, Baron Doom here. Uh, I want to show you um, kind of a cutaway section of the uh, auto sorting machines that I tend to use whenever I build them up. Uh, so let me show you this out. So here's what the front looks like. I like to build it so it looks like this. So it's got the uh, it's got a double chest in front, uh, item frame on top. You've got two sets. Well, you've got one and then a second uh, redstone lamp above it to show you the uh, the capacity that's filled. And it's also got a little lever here that you can uh, set it so instead of collecting stuff, it just automatically drains stuff to the garbage. So uh, let me show you this back side right here. So here it is over here. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. It's 11 high by 13 long. So it's, it's pretty big uh, if you want to build it like this. But let me show you. So uh, when the first life light goes off, uh, if you're stacking 64 items, uh, you've got a total already of uh, almost 8,000 items. Uh, at 16 stackables, it's almost 2,000 items. Uh, then uh, the second light tells you that it's full. Uh, so with the full at 64 stackable, it's 18,000 items. And at 16, it's almost 5,000. And what's cool is the first light, uh, it's about a 40 to 43% full rate. Uh, so you can tell where you're at. And once it hits here, uh, it's still not technically full because I've got a couple more hoppers to get there, but it's a good indication that uh, once it hits there, uh, you should start thinking about uh, flicking the lever at the bottom to turn on the garbage. So let me show you the back. So the top up here is the uh, uh, the sorter. with the uh, It's got the overflow protection on it. So items come in here, and they travel along this line, you know, and you've got more than two. You can have, you know, hundreds stacked along. But I just put two here just to show the uh, the concept. So it goes along, uh, the first one here. So what I do is I put in a single one named item of uh, just any item, but I used wool, and I just put X's on it. Because I know these are never going to come through the item gen or the item sorter. And then there's 41 of that particular item. So the first row is stone. Uh, and then this one is the granite. So what happens is uh, the sorter sorts them out and then it comes through to down this hopper and down into this double chest. And this double chest it's going to go one of either two ways. Either it's going to go uh, that way towards the uh, into the chests or it's going to go this way and this is the garbage line where things get destroyed. And that's controlled by this switch here. So this switch with all these repeaters goes up into this redstone uh, I guess tower you call it and it comes right here so it hits these two hoppers so right now this one is powered off so when items come in here they're gonna go this way and then down that way and this one is powered on so this is getting turned off so if we go over here flip that switch you see this is powered up they alternate now there's uh, power under this one so no items will go this way they'll actually go this way and hit this uh, this line which is the the trash line and this can go as far as you want and then eventually you could take this end and put it to a, uh, a dropper into lava so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, I've got a 32 stack of grant a stone granite and some glass just so we could watch the lights turn on we'll do that so I'm going to plop these all in so we gotta give it a little bit for it to walk itself in. Okay, there goes the granite. So, uh, right now it's full because it's a constant stream. But if they trickle in, it would be a blink. Uh, see how it's kind of blinking, going off and on? So now all the 32s in here, so it's there. And then the uh, stone's going through. It's almost done. And then after that should be the glass. So that's all done. And then the glass is going to be working its way over. So let me take all that back. I'm going to take all that back. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, yeah, I'm just going to get those. So I'm going to put these uh, stones in, and then I'm going to go flip the switch 
for the garbage. So what you should see is, uh, as it gets to here, it's going to eventually stop and start going in here. And we'll come back over here and check this hopper of what's in there. So plopping those in there. We're going to wait till a couple come in. So they're going. Okay, so we're going to hit the switch. It's going to eventually stop the, uh, the flow. So we got 23 in. And now they're all going through the trash line. They're going through. See, they're going through right there. Yep, so I'll... Let me turn the switch off again. Uh, let me do that. So that way you can get an idea of how it's built. Uh, so it's got the uh, comparators back here. Uh, right there is a half slab onto a, a solid block to power the the redstone. You might want to make sure you use a solid block and not a repeater. That way it doesn't also power the adjacent uh, redstone lamps that are next to it. Uh, then above here I just have a regular uh, full because there's no uh, chest underneath. And you need to use a half slab and a glowstone or even uh, stairs if you don't want to use glowstone. That way you can open up the, uh, the chest. Because if it's not those, they won't open. Alright. So yeah, what you could do is uh, you could just build the initial two. You have to use it with a regular chest and then a uh, trap chest. And then you could just do a uh, basically a, if you've got the uh, uh, cheats enabled, you could do a clone command and just copy and paste this uh, however you want. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's pretty big. It takes up a lot of space. So you kind of have to plan on that on wherever you're going to put it. Okay. So uh, have any questions, just send me a message, and I'll answer them as best as I can. All right, I'll catch you guys later.